Mo Norman called his swing the feeling of greatness. And like most geniuses, his swing mechanics were so embedded and natural, they became part of his eccentricity. It could be easy to overlook Mo's swing and consider it idiosyncratic and individualistic. In the past two years, using the latest in 3D motion capture technology and analysis software, I've explored and measured the geometry of Mo's single plane swing. I was able to quantify the differences between Mo's swing and the typical conventional golf swing. Data shows that the conventional golfer's spine is tilted six degrees from vertical at the beginning of the swing. To achieve the ideal impact position, he must increase and move the tilt of the spine a total of 19 degrees from address to impact. To move the spine this distance to reach impact, his head must move two inches backward and one inch downward away from the target. If you look at the backswing, from the start of the trail hand position all the way to the backswing, the, the right hand is moving up without rotation and then it's moving down again into impact without rotation. So the trail shoulder, trail arm could easily get back down to impact. Once again, Mo's swing simplicity dealt with less rotation, making it easier to get to impact.